everyone and welcome back to my channel first of all ignore my voice I am sick and my throat hurts so bad and my nose is stuffy and oh my goodness I feel so bad but I really wanted to film today and if you think that you've seen this face before it's because I did film two videos today I did a review on this foundation the Rimmel Stay Matte Mousse but in this video I'm doing a review on the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline this is not a first impression as you can see I use quite a lot and I had this product before so I know how I feel about it so if you want to hear that then just keep watching so I'm on the Maybelline website and they say the eye area appears radiant and refreshed in no time the Super Concern Treatment Concealer features a micro-correct applicator to help instantly erase dark circles and fine lines infused with goji berry and haloxy I don't know what that is <laughs> it also says visibly diminishing the appearance of puffiness around the eyes yeah so that's pretty much it I have the color light pale I think this was the shade that I had before and I really really like it it works perfectly to cover my dark areas but also it helps me to brighten the face it's such a perfect shade for me even when I'm in the more tan in the summer uh, this still works perfectly for me I guess I'm gonna stay here and enjoy my smoothie while they are being so loud we have to ignore the sound on the background I'm waiting here for about 10 minutes and it doesn't stop so I'm going to apply this concealer with two different tools so you can see if there is a difference on this side I'm gonna use a makeup sponge and on this side I'm gonna use a brush I like the fact that the applicator allows you to apply a very thin layer of concealer so you don't cake it up or you don't use too much product so these are the places that I would usually put concealer and now I'm gonna blend them out By the way, in case any of you guys are wondering, this is a makeup sponge from Party Queen and this is a brush also from Party Queen. I did a review for both of them and I'm gonna leave them down below. They are amazing. As a difference between the two sides and I think this is general on the side where I use the beauty blender um, the thin products are a little bit absorbed and you need a little more but on this side everything looks nice and I feel like it's a little bit more coverage on this side I'm gonna set my under eyes with powder because I always do that so I'm gonna do it in the review as well the product itself is amazing I love everything about it so first of all it comes with a little sponge applicator and you do have a cap to put on top because otherwise bacteria and dust and everything would just tuck in there and all you have to do is twist right here and product comes out and what I like about it as you can see all the product is kind of pushed down and it goes up through a little tube inside so you get everything out of the tube you don't have um, you know those uh, concealer ones that you have to go with the one inside kind of like a mascara and you have to go inside but you don't get everything out well with this one you get everything out so I love 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 the packaging and I wouldn't change it and as of the quantity it comes with 0.2 fluid ounces or 6 milliliters looking in the mirror it looks absolutely gorgeous I love it but we're gonna see throughout the day how it is it is about 10 and a half we're gonna see 
throughout the day I'm gonna come back and we're gonna see how this looks so I'm just gonna say bye for now but you're gonna see me in a few seconds I wanted to come one more time before this clip but I couldn't because I just now arrived home it's past nine and a half and I'm extremely tired I cannot wait to take my makeup off and go to sleep I'm seriously exhausted so looking in the mirror my um, concealer looks pretty good it didn't crease that bad under my eyes a little bit on my eyelids because I do have extremely oily eyelids and it's pretty normal for it to crease right in here uh, but underneath my eyes it still looks nice the coverage is there even in the inner corner everything is covered so I think this lasted very nice considering I have been having it for about 12 hours almost 12 hours which is a lot I do love this concealer and I highly recommend it to everyone that has a little bit more of a oily under eye if you have very very dry under eyes I think this won't work as good for you but if you have normal to not let's not say oily because nobody's oily underneath there but if you're not extremely dry um, I think it was this would work for you very well and I like it it applies very nice the packaging is amazing I don't have anything bad to say about this so I like it let me know in the comments if you've tried this concealer and how it worked for you and also let me know your favorite concealer I would love to hear that and maybe try something new if I haven't tried it before don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram if you want to know YouTube related things about me and until next time take care bye